Okay, here's a video on how to do a fillet when you can't do a fillet. So there. Let's go ahead and try uh, to fillet this model. And so we'll go to solid and go to fillet. And the radius, let's go, uh, we'll try point to point 0.2. And you can sit and click around here or you can come in and region select which is a little quicker being careful not to hit any of the other ones so we can do that and we'll come over here and do the rest of that one that I missed and what else we got All right, so that apparently is all that. Not missing any parts. Nope, so we hit enter. And, ooh, that's way too aggressive, but let's see what happens. Yeah, so <laughs> it sent that stuff all around there. Um, I'm going to get these on other layers here so we can see. All right, so that's no good. That just freaked her out. Oh, that's always fun. Couldn't have done that if I needed to. All right, so let's actually just undo that. All right, the other thing that we want to look at then, and we could we could step that down. Uh, let's go ahead and right click and say um, set uh, camera and then place target and that'll that'll go up here and now we're right on that part so there's a little added movie bonus um, so we could step down the radius amount and try point one or try this or try that and um, but here's here's something else that we could do that part of the reason that this won't fill it or mainly the reason this won't fill it is these tight areas here where the the radius won't fit. Okay, especially this one. That one's particularly nasty. So let's do this. Let's try to go 0 0.01 for the radius. Okay, the other thing that you can do um, on fillets is you can um, you can do a variable radius fillet, which sometimes will help in other words, if we go fill it, I'm going to set this to uh, 0 0.01, uh, really low. I'm going to click here and then hit enter. And then you can add a handle. And let's go 0.15, enter. And I'll put that right in the middle and then hit enter. And there, what it does is it goes super small, does a fill it, and then goes back to super small. And you could sit and try to do these. Let's see if we can string. I know right here it had some trouble. Let's try to sling some together here. So we can go variable radius. And I always do the smallest one first. So we could go, okay, go from here to here to here. And how are we doing? And let's go over to there. So now we'll go enter, add a handle. 0.15 was what I picked. That's fairly large. So we'll go there, there, there. We'll go over here, over here, and then come over to about here, and then hit enter. And no. Yeah, this one is particularly not friendly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So, that having done all that, and if, if it was a little more, um, or a little less kind of scallopy, I think we could get more um, variable radius filleting going on in there. Okay, so here's the next trick that I do. Um, what we'll do is we'll go curve and um, dupe edge, and we'll 
run this around here and again we can always come over here and and uh, region select this speed things up a little bit and uh, let's do that alright so there's that enter and we immediately come hit join now we'll go ahead and do a uh, pipe on that so solid pipe and let's see how big we want this radius to be something probably about like that and then we'll hit enter and so that makes a pipe that goes around there like so now this is going to be trouble uh, ooh, I really hated that um, I wasn't expecting that trouble but we already found trouble it, it failed even getting around here all right so even that is is no good so let's nuke that so what I would do is rebuild this now so all right so it has a hundred and forty eight uh, points on the uh, on the existing curve and I'm, I'm at 200 and then we just look and see what the greatest deviation is and there it relaxed those tight corners so that actually is just fine for what I want so now let's go back and do pipe at the same radius alright so now we have a successful pipe yay we'll go back here and uh, so the next thing that I would do is split this. So we say you get split by you. Enter. And we wait. And let's turn off red. All right. And there's that piece. Now, here's the next thing that's going to go wrong on this one. And what's really bad is that. And what does that come from? That comes from the pipe doubling back over itself right there all right so this one this one is a good one for a video because it's got such tight little corners that it's wreaking havoc with the with the pipe on a one that's um, you can see that that is the only place that that did that the whole rest of this thing see there's the anomaly right there the whole rest of it is actually just fine all right, but all things considered, then let's undo and undo and undo that. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, is go like so. Um, so we take um, let's get rid of this one too. So we take our our rebuilt and off or our, we duped edge and we rebuilt this so now let's go over to the looking down and we're gonna smash this down to the C plane and so we go to transform project the C plane delete input um, no we'll leave the old one alright so now what do we have we have projected down to the C plane we have uh, this curve. Now you might say, well, you can, uh, well, here, I haven't got to this point yet. So now we're going to go over to curve and go to offset, and my distance I'll set to uh, 0.2. Okay, so we'll offset that inside, which is right there. We'll put that on orange or something. Then we'll take that orange curve and we'll project it. So we go to curve, project, right on here. Now of course this might seem like a lot of work and it is but not I mean not if you go after this if you recognize the fact that this is um, you know going to be really hard to fill it if not impossible then um, then I would head straight for this methodology and I would try to f you know fill it at first but then I would move on very quickly so there we have that curve. Now you might say, hey, I thought you could 